What's up, RJ family? I just want to get on here and first say thank you for all the support from YouTube and outside of YouTube. I really appreciate the DMs and the questions. And I also appreciate the orders and letting me, you know, create your order. <laughs> so now, this tray is for one of my supporters from YouTube. They DM me and asked me to make them a tray. Now I'm about to explain to you guys how I made this tray. This sheet of paper is shipping label paper. So I printed that out. I did the measurements five by six by 9.2. That's how big the base of the tray is. Like the flat bottom part of the tray is 5.6 by 9.2. So once you printed it off and everything, you're gonna take half of the sticker off and then place it along the tray lines and then you're going to smooth that out and then you're going to do the same thing to the other side but you want to make sure that you have it even like lined up completely you can also print this out on regular sticker paper printable vinyl you know anything like that i just did it this way that way i could have no lumps or anything on the base of the tray okay now you can see where that puddle of paint for me that's Spraying it evenly is still super wet and the rest of the tray is dry. Um, this is why I'll be remaking this tray. I do sell mess up trays at a reduced price. So what happens with two kids and stuff and rushing and having a business on top of another business, things get a little crazy and rushed sometimes. So I have a lot of remakes often and I sell those at a reduced price, but that's besides the point. Now we're adding on the second side of paper and we're doing the exact same thing, making sure it's even. It did take me a couple times. As you can see, the rest of the tray is completely dry as no paint is lifting up from me removing the sticker and replacing it multiple times. So just check everything on the tray before you do this. If you do not have materials for mess ups, So now that the shipping label papers are adhered to the base of the tray, I'm gonna go ahead and coat this with glitter. I mean with epoxy and glitter. When mixing epoxy, you want to make sure you have even coats, even sides, even amounts of part A and part B. When doing epoxy, you want even amounts of part A and part B, and you want to mix slowly for three to five minutes. Always shoot for five when you're beginning, just so you know exactly how it's supposed to look and feel so it can set properly. After I'm done mixing this epoxy, I'm going to add in some glitter and then pour it over the tray. Um, yes so i am going to i think i'm doing the um the mess up tray first with epoxy and then i'll be doing i'll just be showing you my finished product so
when spreading the epoxy i um, make sure i bring it up on the rim of the tray and not just leave it on the base next time i do this tray i definitely want to use black spray paint where the white is and black glitter instead of the purple glitter and i think that would be super cute okay just a little bit but nonetheless i hope they like it because they didn't want to see it before it was finished and this is basically the end of it we're gonna let it dry and this is the actual product i shipped off as you can see in the corner there is no yellow at the bottom this i did use a little bit more of the purple glitter and i don't know if I like it with a lot of glitter or if I wanted it a little bit less, I'm not sure. I'm really still undecided about it, but hopefully they like it. Fingers crossed. Thank you guys for supporting and um, yeah. So this is the less glitter and then this is the more glitter. Mm. Which one I like better? I guess it just depends on how I'm holding it. Alright y'all, but have a nice day. Bye-bye.